so I have not vlogged <laughs> in probably a month and there's people staring at me but I'm sitting at Taco Bell I about flipped my nachos on my lap and I just cleaned off my freaking shirt. As you can tell, kind of, I'm in scrub because your girl got a job, a real one, a surgical tech job, and yeah, life is eh. Okay, I did get a job. It's in my dream location. I love it so much. I love it. I love it so much. I've been there. Tomorrow, I'll be there for a week. They have me in the eye room because of my least experience is in eyes. Done cataracts all week. Tomorrow, I'm in a room and there's 15 cataracts. Yeah. I'm moving my seat back because this girl is for real staring at me. So she can't see my face. I have a preceptor. Her name is Heather and she's the sweetest thing. Me and her were struggling. I was opening the first case and my little instrument tray was sliding off the table. Obviously, I'm not sterile, but I did grab it. I didn't contaminate anything else. I grabbed it because I didn't want it to fall on the floor because it's with instruments in it and one of those instruments are like $1,200 and there's two of them in there and all the other instruments are probably very expensive but it was gonna fall on the floor anyway and so then my preceptor she went to go get another one she put hers on the table it fell off the table and she was like I have never done that ever they had breakfast this morning at work and it was so good French toast casserole I think my life kind of changed another update tomorrow is my first payday kind of excited about that my boyfriend Sam he came home last weekend kind of surprised me because the snow they were having over the weekend he was he's up in Pennsylvania a week ago today I was an hour away from home and it was raining and I had a flat tire had to change a flat tire in the rain never done it before in my life it was cold get home realize I have another flat tire so my car has two flat tires Sam comes home he gets home at 4.30 in the morning on Friday and takes me to work and I left at 5.50 in the morning. I don't know how he did it. And he drove the whole way, Pennsylvania. To, he drove for nine hours straight and went home for an hour, came and picked me up, took me my first day of work. And then we spent the weekend together. He left Sunday and on this coming Saturday, he comes home in two weeks. We've been dating for almost two months now. And there's a creepy guy. I'm so dead. Okay, well, I think I'm going to sign off. This is just going to be probably me just posting little life updates, not vlogging because I don't have the energy. Today is March. I just looked for my phone. I'm staring right at it. Today is March 8th, so this life update might be posted in April. Probably May. Peace out. Yeah. So this lighting is crap because it's still dark, kind of. It's clearly not dark, but I'm in a parking deck <laughs> sitting at work. And I am really, I'm struggling to like even stay awake because I clearly sound like crap and my allergies are kicking my butt this freaking year. Sleeping like crap on a work night or weekend. During the week is a no for me because I have to work. I have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't want the light to be on me. I don't want people to see me. But, wow. This morning, I went to Sam's because he gets off freaking 5 o'clock. When he's going to bed, I'm leaving for work, literally. Today, it's going to be a struggle because the room I'm in. The room, the room that I'm in has BMT, which is tubes and meters. Which is easy. A septoplasty, which is your nose. And then four. Four freaking fusion, which is sinus surgery. I've never seen a room even have three. That's my mini vlog. Um, peace out, bye guys. Pray for me. So I just got off of work. It's a random Thursday. And I decided to vlog because I haven't vlogged forever and I don't really vlog anymore. But I had to get to work early because my first two cases were like eye cases. They were like, there. it's an ICL surgery, and the surgeon that I work with, he does both eyes at once, and we have back to back, so technically it was four surgeries in a row, because it's on both eyes. By 9.30 this morning, I was brain dead, because I was zoned, I was so zoned, and like the tech I was with, blah, blah, the tech I was working with was so impressed how fast and how, like I memorized.
missed the first case because we had one right after, so I'm like, I have like a photographic memory when it comes to what I need and what I just used. And she was like really amazed by all that kind of stuff. But I was like, I don't know. I probably had the most like straightest face ever. I don't know what to vlog about anymore. I'm driving home from Uptown Charlotte two nights ago. My lovely dog decided to take a chunk out of my finger. I'm a surgical tech, so that kind of puts me out of work for, this is day three. This has been like the craziest week ever. I got home from the beach with my boyfriend Sunday night. My dogs got jealous. They wanted to see me so bad. So Loki jumped on Bailey. I felt my finger go in Loki's mouth and instantly thought, well, this isn't good. Bit a chunk out of my finger. My boyfriend comes, freak, I have to get over. What are you honking at? My boyfriend comes over, dumps peroxide on it. I actually look at the peroxide bottle this morning because I'm like, there's no way that this is not expired. Our peroxide is expired in 2011. That had to be healthy. Oh God. Oh God. Broom, broom, mother. Okay. He came over cleaned it out somewhat, woke up, went to where I was this morning, employee health. No, woke up, went to, I went to work to tell my boss. She told me to go to her urgent care. So me and my boyfriend, we went to urgent care and they gave me like steri strips, you know, told me the whole shebang, how to clean it, how, what to do, blah, blah, blah. So then the next morning I was told by my manager to go to employee health because they like take care of us. They tell us, you know, how long we really have to be out of work and all this crap. So, and like employee health is not two minutes from my house. Employee health is with traffic. It took me an hour to get here because uptown Charlotte. So I had to go to employee health yesterday morning and then go to my work. And then, then I had to go to an ortho urgent care that didn't open up till 5.30 last night. The ortho care people gave me a little splint thingy. I woke up at five o'clock this morning and took it off because it was crushing my hand. And then I took the little bandage that was on it and it was stuck to the wound. So I had to pull that, oh my God, that was honestly, that was worse than when it actually happened. That was probably almost one of the worst pains of my life because I honestly, can't move my finger this is me moving my finger my finger's a hot mess I can't move it it is so, like okay my boyfriend he works night shift he did not get home until seven o'clock this morning but I think I'm gonna be a good girlfriend the past two days he has not had time to go buy himself some chicken because that's all he eats for lunch he hasn't had time because Monday he was taking me to doctors yesterday we were taking a nap and then headed to the gym. Oh, you can see Charlotte in the background. Um, so I might go buy him some chicken. I'm not gonna cook it because I don't know how he cooks it really, but I might just have to go buy him some chicken. We went to Myrtle Beach and then we took a day trip to Charleston. We hit some like thrift stores and did some thrift shopping on the way home. And we went to the market in Charleston and I got this little cheap like little, it's a ten dollar little ring. It's really cute. It's a rose, a rose gold color, and yeah, it's too big for me, but I, I love it. It's really pretty. And I haven't vlogged and talked about my boyfriend basically at all. He was sent by his work to Pennsylvania for five weeks. He got back probably a month ago. Okay, let's put it in perspective. Me and him dated for a month. When we reached our month. He left for five weeks and he came down for two weekends. I think during the five weeks, he surprised me on one of the weekends. And then he came down for another weekend because they were getting a really bad snowstorm and suggested to for everybody to come home. Then he came home and now we've been dating for like two months. He worked regular schedule like day shift for exactly a week and then he's he got switched to night shift so I like didn't have my boyfriend for five weeks got him back 
for one week and now he works night shift and I have a full time job. So it's like I never, during the week, I never get to see him anymore. We see each other on the weekends and it's crazy like, oh crap. Like me and him, we live in the same neighborhood. We're literally like 20 seconds from each other, but we don't even see each other during the week now. And that's just a little life update. I keep doing life updates and they're really starting to annoy me that I don't vlog daily, but I leave for work and it's dark. I get off of work and I just go to the gym and then usually head home. Peace out.